Hi, I'm Lee, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be doing a block paving path, but first we've got to dig all this old concrete path up. Let me quickly show you. So this is the old path we're going to be digging up. Just the old stones and cement. If you've seen one of my one of my first videos, I think it was, we changed the water main, so this part is still dug up here. We've got a gas pipe and electric going into the house under there, so we've got to be careful of them. Hopefully they just run straight and under the garden. Hopefully that's no problem. But yeah, so the water mains went from here all the way up to the fence. So that is all now settled back down and covered over. So we're going to be digging up all of this path. We're going to be uh, probably just digging up to the drain. And then hopefully we're going to be digging all of this up and along under the bay window. So we've got our Titan breaker, picked it up from Screwfix quite a while ago, last year I think it was. Can't quite remember how much it was, whether it's 150 or 200. Got a big bag of sharp sand. I'm hoping that there's still gonna be rubble left under here that I can use for like hardcore. So I'm hoping the sand will do. And we are gonna be putting down these, let me show you. A nice sunny day, still cold. Right, the mess that is around the back. So here we've picked up all these paving slabs off Facebook Marketplace for free. Which is just thrown around the back, which is full of junk at the moment and needs clearing. But yeah, so that's not bad, someone had taken up their patio because they'd put an extension on and get rid of these for free had to do quite a few trips to get these in my little car but probably 10 quid of fuel just to pick all them up so that sand cost bulk, bulk sand cost me 40 quid which is probably more than I need. Plus a breaker, I can't quite remember. I think there's a McAllister one in Screwfix now for about 150. So for 200 quid, we'll get this path replaced. All right, so we get the breaker plugged in and start demolishing. We're gonna start with the chisel bit. But a lot of times that chisel bit gets stuck, so we might change it to the point in a second. Let's go. See how we get on. All right, just going to quickly show you what is going on here. We have got a path under a path. Let me give a shadow out of the way. I mean, the old path doesn't look that level, but it's like we've got exactly the same path underneath. All my shadows are in the way. Weird concrete edging, but that's obviously how it was before. It was deep, which would have made it step underneath the gate there. I'm not quite sure yet whether this is gonna be deep enough for a layer of sand and the brick on top to still finish below the edging strips. Um, it's also curved, concaved, whatever way you want to call it. So the middle is higher than the outside, so I might have to take this path up as well. But we shall see when we've got all the rest up. All right, now I'm going to cut you off. I'm just going to get on with this now. See you when it's done. 
Right, so I'm actually on day three now of digging up this path and getting it all ready. So let's show you where we're up to. Right, so as I was saying before, there was a path under a path. Now this one has got quite a deep gradient on it. It's quite shallow up that end to quite deep down that end. So it is running down from that end out, but then I've put some sand down here just so I can get the bins out. But you have got a sort of four inch step onto the pavement. So previously they had laid a path on top of this path and it was pretty much level with the uh, border along the top. So it didn't have this um, steep uh, slope on it. So we're gonna be doing the same thing. We're gonna be uh, putting our bricks back to level. But for drainage, I'm gonna drill a load of holes into this path so the water can seep through. Now normally you'd put some hardcore down. I've left some of this behind so I can use this as like hardcore before I put the sand on it. And usually you'd put your weed membrane down first and then your hardcore on top. But I think I'm gonna spread some of this hardcore out so it's all level and then put the weed fabric on top of there. I know the weed fabric is probably gonna rip and have holes in it, it might be pointless. Uh, but then we're going to put the sand on top of that and then the bricks you can see here we've got our this is what you've got to be careful of where your utilities come in we've got a gas pipe there that is our old lead pipe uh, if you watch one of my um, old previous videos we took up the lead water mains and replaced it with mdpe so i just need to cut that one off of there the mdpe pipe's a lot deeper it's right down at foundations at about 750 mil um, and another reason for taking this up as well is I don't know if you can see from this line this line that's on here this is where the path was going up to and down here is your damp course membrane which in our case because the building's so old is slate now you shouldn't have your path up over the damp course because it can cause damp through the walls and into the bay windows which we have a few damp issues in this bay window. It was damp when we moved there and all the wallpaper's coming off. So another reason for getting this down, we're going to try and stop the path below the damp course. It should be lower. I'm sure it should be sort of a brick and a half or two bricks lower. But anything's better than it being over the damp course because that can cause damp issues. And we are going to go all the way along. Right, enough babbling. And to save on skip fees and getting rid of um, all the hardcore, you can do two things with it. You can pile it up and you can build a, um, what do you call it? A rock garden. Like we did, we did have some old rubble over here and all the plants have taken very well onto that one. You may not like it, you may, you might do. And then the rest of the, bricks we go down the end of the garden minding the bees are busy we have built a brick wall out of them oh god i've got to get past the bees so yeah so we've built this brick wall here it does go along the outside as well and then we filled it with some rubble down the bottom for drainage and put some earth on top and eventually we'll probably build this up a bit more and have some flowers in there but basically we're making it go all the way along to the end just go around the other side jesus sun's out bees are out they're not going to attack me today around a mess Let's see what i'm showing you so yeah this is the other side this is a bit more rough and ready. And you still need to tidy up a bit out of here. But as you can see, it doesn't look too bad. I don't think anyway. And if I didn't like it, it's by the driveway. I can I hire a skip and just throw them straight in. But eventually they'll get coated with moss and it'll all blend in. We'll have some plants trailing, trailing down the side. You know what I mean? So you may think that's a good idea. You may think it's horrible, but 
we like it it'll do for now saves all of that go into the landfill job done right back to the path so that will just need covering with earth and um, put some plants on it and it'll end up like this one over here we've got all sorts of alpine plants and stuff growing out of it uh, got some thyme chamomile's doing well on there actually there's some um, pineapple sage coming through it smells really nice and I forgot what they are but it does need de-weeding job for the spring right that's so what we're going to do now we're just going to drill some holes in there with our SDS drill, uh, I got 16, I think it's about a 16, 20 mil drill bit in there, something like that. So the idea is we're going to drill a lot of holes so when the water seeps through the bricks, because we're only going to sand them in, the water's got somewhere to go, otherwise the water's just going to go through the bricks and it's all going to sit down this end and slowly drain away. So we're just going to drill a load of holes, at least it's got some somewhere for the water to go. Right, it probably isn't absolutely necessary. It's like I said before, this path is this path is concaved. If I can show you maybe. So most of the water's gonna go off down the sides and then there is a gap at the end just under the gate so the water can escape under there anyway. So may not be necessary. I mean I could have broken all this up. I could have taken the whole thing up. But you could have broken it up so the water can go through the cracks. But I think that's enough hole just to let some water through. Uh, there you can see we've got gaps all the way down. So the water's going to roll off there anyway. Uh, one other thing I'll do, I'm going to snap a string line down here. All right. So I'm not sure whether you can see it is out. Obviously, if we're doing block paving and this is out and it's not square, we've already laid some bricks down the end and they fit perfectly, so I need to keep that width that's down the end. So, yeah, I think maybe we're just going to get some string lines on there, straighten these up. Right, so we just put a couple of posts in the ground with a string on it, just so we can see how far out these are. You can see it goes quite far out, if you can see that. It's out to the end where it's then touching and the string line's tied up there. So we need to push all of these further over till it's up to there. Put some bricks down so we can see our width, which is just about right there. Works out to be about 105. Uh, yeah, what was it? One metre and five mil. So I think if I get this side straight, put all the bricks up to there, and then I can sort this side out and bring it back forward to obviously come in line with these bricks. So then once we've got all these straight and parallel, we can get with putting the sand down and land the bricks. So I'm just going to dig out, just going to dig this mud out from down here. So I can just slide these panels over up to this line. It's only kind of like an inch. And I've got plenty of uh, plenty of room there. Right, so hopefully you can see now that this string line is looking much better. It's near enough touching the the concrete borders still out in a couple of places just falling back so just need to backfill that with some mud keep these forward so they're just touching the string all the way along that one's moved a bit out again but yeah we just backfill those and get them just touching that string That's 
scrolls are still out. Great. So that's it, we've got it back filled with some sand. Tucked a couple of stones in there just to try and keep it from compressing the sand and going back. Pretty straight. That's close enough for me. Right, so we've just made ourselves a little tapper down. So we've just got a block of wood, we've cut it so it fits inside the path. And then you can either cut it down and add bits to the side like that or cut a groove. I've added these bits to the end just to make it a bit longer. So that will sit on the top of the path. I've cut that to the depth of my bricks and where I want it, so another 10 mil. So it's sitting just below the uh, top of the concrete edging. So we're just going to use this to go and run it along, tap all the sand down and then pull it back and make it nice and level. But first we need to just overfill it with sand so we can tap it down and drag it back. Well, I'm just in the shadow here so sorry if you can't quite see it. But just go along tapping it all down. making it firm and then what we can do is slide it until we're, we've got our edges on the side of our path. And put it all along. Just brush some back if you're tapping it down and you can hear it hitting on the, on the side of the edging. Just push some back, pat it down. That's it, just got to do that all the way along. So there it is, we've got it pretty flat now. I've walked over it. Walked on it, it's very sturdy. So we've got it pretty flat all the way along. The front part over here obviously couldn't run it along the edges because you get to the gate post so I've got to work out how to do that bit. So I'm just going to put some a row of bricks down there so we can lift them later and level them once we've got the main part of this path down and level. Right, so let's start putting some bricks down. Right, I've already put some down there, forgot to press the record button. So, got some more bricks out. Lay some more. If I ever get a low spot, just chuck some sand in and bring it back up.
over there, got a tiny little low spot on that corner. Just want to sprinkle the sand in there. Sitting slightly proud. Right, it's a bit of a low sun now. Uh, not sure whether this is going to be a very good pitch up, but there you go. Hopefully nice and straight up against the edge there. This side we have got a gap, but it's starting to close up. See when we get to there, it's closing up. So I'm just going to push these slabs over when this is all laid uh, not far to go all the rest of that to do right so we'll leave that there for the moment i'm just going to get on with that and then we've got to do the same again same again all along here get all that leveled what we do over here though once we put our uh, sand layer down We'll put our uh, weed fabric control membrane over the top and then the bricks on top of that. Just hopefully stop any weeds and stuff coming through. What I'll do, I'll just get on with this and I'll bring you back when uh, it's all finished. Could be a, another day or two. All right, so that's it. We've pretty much finished the pathway. So let's give you a little closer look at it. So yeah, we was pretty straight along this side and then we just oh mind that stone and then we pretty much pulled these uh, sides over here grass needs cutting now and we've now got a fence up that sort of separates our side garden over there uh, didn't film that but i will film finish it off down this end because we're going to put a gate in here and then do the back in so just show you this was all reclaimed wood this was old fence panels that we took down but when they're painted they don't look too bad but yeah so back to the path all looking quite good right when I got to this area this was all a bit harder to do because I haven't really got my, my lines to go off so got part of it level with a spirit level and then just sort of went backwards and across with that piece of wood just to get it all nice and level it's slowly it's got a gentle gradient down to the garden and a gentle gradient back this way as well so it's keeping it away from the house and here you can see where i've put the uh, weed membrane down just a fabric membrane uh, that we put on top of the rocks and then the uh, sand on top of that um left this open just so i can show you and the roses are falling off so the fence is going to be coming up to this part of the wall and going across so we've just got to fill this bit in with the bricks and if we move along by the door you can previously see you can see how high the path was before you know it was right up to our um, damp course on the wall so now we're near enough a brick below that and then same again when we got to the bay window we stepped it down a bit put a little step in there hopefully you can see that that's probably about three quarters of a brick but it just brings us down well under this um, damp proof course um, and with here i've just got to cut a few triangular pieces so we've got a nice little line and hopefully leave us with like a thin gap here I can either fill with sand or just get a few little uh, pebbles or something like that, some small stones. But we are well a lot more below the uh, damp proof course than we were. 
which is what I'm happy with. Then we straighten up this line as well. And then we kind of like got to the end and that just needs like finishing off with a few bricks. I'll show you quickly how many bricks we had left. Right, so from that massive pile you saw that was here before, this is literally all we've got left. These few little bricks there, which we should finish off that little corner nicely. All these ones were sort of uh, ones that have been shortened, they've been cut down aside. So they weren't much use. We used a couple of them. But these ones are pretty much full bricks and we've got like a stack of half bricks that I can cut diagonally and fill in them last little spots. Right, so there you go, from what it was before to what it is now. It looks 10 times better. It is so much better than what it was. The horrible old cracking concrete and the mess I'd left down here where I dug up the water mains. It's all now done. I haven't put any sand or kiln dried sand between these bricks. You can do, you can cement them in if you want, but just gonna leave them, see what happens. So that's it, all we really bought for this job. If you, know, if you didn't need to dig up concrete, you wouldn't have to buy the um, breaker. So we've literally bought a ton bag of sharp sand for 40 pounds, that's it. All of these stones or slabs or block paving, what do you call them? <laughs> so all of these paving blocks, like I said before, were free from a marketplace. Um, probably would have cost you sort of two or 300 quid to buy these new. So have a look on Facebook Marketplace if you need anything, you will find stuff. And a bit like this fence, these are these were pretty much rotten fence panels and I've took them apart, taken out the best bits. Again, that was free. Um, just bought some fence posts, some little cross members. They cost about £30, I think, but wood prices are ridiculous at the moment. So I might wait to do the other ones. And yeah, and a tin of paint that I had laying around. So I'm going to leave it there. That's it. I hope you um, enjoyed watching this one. Hope this has helped you out in some way. So thanks for watching and hopefully I'll see you in the next one and I won't leave it so long this time. Oh yeah, please like, comment, subscribe, all of that stuff. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.